everyone, my name is Ray Marquezon. And I am Evangeline Diosin. And we are going to talk about Implementation Support. Implementation Support. Programming toolkits is a level of service test for programmers. When doing systems, a core of support for a separate simultaneous user system activity. Programming the application and control of the dialogue. Interaction toolkits bringing the programming closer to the level of the user perception. User interface management system controls relationship between presentation and functionality. So how does HCI affect the programmer? HCI affect the programmers because HCI is a study of design and structure of a system. In this, the programmer develop a useful system and a very accessible to the user. Advances in coding have elevated programming. So we have this hardware as specific, interaction technique as specific. So we also have the layers of programming toolkits. Windowing system, interaction toolkits, user interface management system. <clears throat> so what are the elements of windowing systems? First, we have the device independence, programming the abstract terminal device drivers, image models for output and partially input. This includes pixels, Postscripts, graphical kernel systems, and programmer's hierarchical interface to graphics. Also, this includes resource sharing. Achieving simultaneity for user tasks, Windows system supports independent processes and isolation of individual applications. Roles of a Windows system. First, we have multiple application control. Second is device independence. Under the multiple, multiple application control is application program, and under the device independence are the window 1, window 2, window 3, also the keyboard and the mouse. Architectures of windowing systems. Three possible software architectures. It all assumes device driver is separate and it differs on how multiple application management is implemented. First, we have each application manages all processes. Everyone worries about synchronization, so then introduces portability of applications. Second, we have management rule with kernel of operating system, applications tied to operating system. And third, we have management rules as separate application it is the maximum portability of such application. The client-server architecture. First, we have the resource manager. Second is the device manager. Under the resource manager, we have the client application and the abstract terminals. Next is the device driver. We have the window 1, window 2, window 3, and also the keyboard and the mouse. These are the devices. X windows architecture. Pixel imaging model with subquantum mechanism. X protocol divine server client communication. Separate windows manager client enforces policies for input and output. How to change input focus. Tiled versus overlapping windows. Inter client data transfer. Coming with a grain. A system style affects the interface. We have the model dialog box. It is easy with event loop, hard with notification. While a non-modal dialog box is hard with event loop and easy with notification. So the difference with, between modal dialog box and the non-modal dialog box differs with the hard or the AC notification as well as with the event loop. Beware, if you don't explicitly design, it will just happen implementation should that drive design. Using toolkits, interaction objects, Input and output is principally linked. Toolkits provide a level of abstraction. Programming with interaction object for techniques, widgets, and gadgets. Promote consistency and general ability through similar look and feel. Amenable to object-oriented programming. So by using toolkits, for example, we have button. As we are going to click a button, there is a specific function that brings out the elements to another window by just using a simple button in using toolkits. Interface in Java. Java Toolkit AW Abstract Windowing Toolkit. Java classes for buttons, menu, etc. Notification base. 
AWT version 1.0 lead to subclass basic widgets. AWT version 1.1 and beyond callback objects. Swing toolkits. Build on the top of AWT higher level pitches. Uses MVT architecture. User interface management systems or UIMS. UIMS adds another level above toolkits. Toolkits too difficult for non programmers. Concerns of UIMS. Conceptual architecture. Implementation techniques. Support infrastructure. Non UIMS terms. This includes UI development systems or UIDS and UI development environment or UIDA. Examples are Visual Basic. UIMS is conceptual architecture. First, separation between application and semantics and pre presentation. Improves. Pairs is portability, run on different systems. Next is reusability is a component to use cutting costs. Third is multiple interface, accessing same functionality. And lastly is customizability by designer and user. UIMS tradition. So it has interface layers, logical components. First, we have linguistic, lexical, syntactic, and semantic. UIMS tradition, interfaces, layers, logical components. First, we have linguistic, or lexical, syntactic, or semantic. Second, we have CM, and third, we have R linking. Now we have the CM model. First is user. Next to the user is presentation. Next is dialogue control. Next is functionality, which is the application interface, and last is the application. The switch fall under the three categories, which is the lexical, syntactic, and semantic. Conceptual versus implementation. CM arose out implementation experience, but principal contribution is conceptual. Concepts are part of a normal UI language. Because of CM, we think differently. Example, the lower box the switch needed for implementation but not conceptual. Semantic feedback. Different kinds of semantic feedback. First, we have lexical, movement of the mouse. Next is synthetic, the window highlights. Next is semantic, some of the numbers features. Semantic feedback often is lower. Use proper lexical synthetic feedback. Next is arc linking. First is more layers. Distinguish lexical and physical. Next is like a string tree. Spray different layers may be bigger, more important, a different system. And last is or in a different component. So next is we have monolithic versus components. See him as a big component. Often easier to use the smaller ones. Example, if using object oriented toolkit. Monolithic versus components. Molten use MVC or model view controller. First is the model. Model is the internal logical state of a component. Next is the view. How it is rendered in the screen. Next is controller. The process uses user input. Here are the model view controller issues. First is MVC is a large pipeline model. We have the input, control, model, view, and output. Next is, but in graphical interface, input only has meaning in relation to output. Example given, mouse click. Need to know what was click. Controller has to decide what to do with the click, but view knows what is shown, where. In practice, control talks to be separation, not click. Next is, we have the path model or the presentation, abstraction, and control model. Path model closer to, is closer to CM. It has the abstraction, logical state of components, presentation, manage input and output, control, politics, data. Manages hierarchical and view, control path objects community. Path cleaner in many ways, but MVC used more in practice. Implementation of UIMS. A technique for a dialogue controller. We have menu networks, the grammar notations, declarative language, graphical specification, state transition diagrams, event language, and constraints. Implementations of UIMS. We have the techniques for the dialogue controller. We have networks, grammar notations, declarative language, graphical specifications, 
state of transition diagrams, event controller, and the constraints. The LV constraints. Instead of what happens, say what should be true. Used in a group player as well as single user interfaces. AVL abstraction link view. Graphical specification. What it is? Draw components on the screen, set actions on the script or links to a program. In use, with raw programming, most popular techniques, example Visual Basic, Dream Viewer, and Flash. For local versus global, hire to see the path through the system, focus on what can be seen on the screen. The drift of dialogue control, internal control, example the read evaluation loop. Second, the external control, independent of application semantics or presentation. And third, we have the presentation control. Example is the graphical specifications. To sum it up, we have tackled all about the levels of programming tools. It includes the windowing system. Windowing systems are device independent and multiple tasks. Paradigms of programming the application. We have the REL or read evaluation loop and second densification range. Next is we have toolkits, programming interaction object, and last is we have UIMS, conceptual architecture for separation and techniques for expressing dialogue. Thank, Thank you for, for listening. listening. Peace out.